what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video what we're gonna be doing is you guys are gonna see um the life of a reseller uh, when we're out cooking and trying to um cook up some shoes and stuff like that so right now we're gonna start off at northridge uh, but we before we start off make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video we're gonna start off at northridge it's currently 11 in the morning um that's the times they usually open stores so right now we're gonna go um edward's on his way <laughs> He's taking a little, you know. So we're gonna go, we're gonna take out stores and see if we find anything. If not, then we're probably gonna move on to the next mall. So as soon as I came inside the mall, they were they dropped some Dunk Low blueberry at Foot Locker. But unfortunately, I didn't make it. There was just too many people in line. But I came to Shoe Palace and I copped some Jordan 3 um, Dark Artists. I mean, those are not going for much. Like They're like below retail, but those are for me. <laughs> I had a reservation at Sherman Oaks. But I saw him here, so I'm just gonna take him here. So yeah, <laughs> for his first location, a, a L. But I mean, I'm gonna stick around for a little bit, wait for Edward, and then we'll try to see where we're gonna go next. Probably just go to Topanga or something, or maybe just wait a little bit, and maybe something will drop. Uh, Kids will locker, or maybe yeah, shoe colors. All right, guys, we're back in the car, and I'm gonna show you what I got. This is for myself. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. They dropped something in the morning, like I said, for the Dunk Low blueberries. I got these. Once I dropped today. Purple. I just needed a purple shoe, that's why I got them. I mean, it's not a hype shoe, but I personally like it. I mean, not everything that I wear is a hype shoe. You shouldn't think that you should wear a hype shoe either. All right, so Edward's here, and then we're gonna go to the next mall. We're gonna drive to Topanga because Topanga hasn't dropped anything. So hopefully we can get something there. We'll just put the receipts in the box. So that way they know it's real. Alright, so I'll see you guys in Topanga and then hopefully we find something so you guys can see like how it goes. Alright, so we made it to the next location. We're at Topanga. Edward's park somewhere over there. I don't know why he's still in the car. But yeah, we're at Topanga Mall. We're gonna try to we're going to have Foot Locker, Finish Line, Champs, all that. Hopefully we find something. We're we'll stay here for like about an hour. And hopefully we find something. We can stop so you guys can see how it goes. Alright, so we checked all stores. Edward's here. Hi guys. <laughs> and we haven't found anything. We got... We got white Coast pretzels. And then Edward copped the shoe for another reseller. He's going to go drop it off right now. We're gonna stay like in the mall for like four hours. Hopefully something drops. If not, then no. <laughs> I mean, you, the only thing you can do is just, you can only get lucky. That's the hard part about it. All right guys, we're back in the car. Fortunately, there's nothing as of right now. Honestly, this is just like a hit or miss type of thing. Sometimes you'll come and they'll have something in store and sometimes you just, Coming, you just don't find anything on this like smash that like button you've been enjoying it so far all right guys so i just took a nap i ate um edward's coming over right now and we're gonna do some shipping and you guys are gonna see the process of us shipping and how we do all that and then after we're done shipping we're gonna go to northridge again hopefully we find something it's been a pretty dry day only in the morning but in the morning i I didn't get it. It was like, a, I literally, the line got cut off like, I was like the seventh person in line and then it got cut off, so. I mean, usually it hits around in the afternoon, so we're hoping we get something for you guys. All right guys, so we're gonna show you the process of shipping. We have um, two shoes to ship out, which is. Um, that was Jessica Cisneros and then Alex Montoya. All right, so we're shipping out your shoes right now. Thank you for your purchase. If you guys want to buy some shoes, make sure you follow at Real Make Kicks on Instagram. We're legit. We have a lot of people buying off of us and we have good references. Um, so yeah, we're about to ship our shoes out and this is how we ship shoes. You guys can do it like different ways, but this is how we ship them out. Okay, so I go on Pirate Ship, right? It's uh, pirateship.com. Basically, I'm about to create a label. But she's purchased from us before. <clears throat> so she's a returning customer. So all of her infos already say, obviously name, address, all that good stuff, you know, you feel me? Um, 
and then I usually ask for box dimensions, the length, the width, and the height. So that's where I can get for this. Thing. So it's, uh, it's close to nine. So we'll just say nine. Nine, eight, nine, eight. It's gonna be seven much. Nine, eight, six. Nine. And you just put the you just put the dimensions. <clears throat> what did I say? Nine, nine eight, six. eight, six. Eight, six, and then we usually measure it. We have a scale right here, actually. Or well, we weigh it. <laughs> <clears throat> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, weigh it. There you go. And then put it here. And it's 1.17. We'll just put 1.2. 1.2. And you put the package weight too, because if not, I'm gonna charge this extra. For real. And then yeah, you I get my rates, whatever. It tells us how much it's gonna be. You actually save money through pirate ship or shippo. I think it's the other one, shippo. But yeah, versus like if you go to the post office. But it, it like especially depends where you send it. Like now I'm about to print the label. So once you once I obviously you buy the label, it's, um, it gives you the option to download it, whatever, all that good stuff. It's just the message and weight, but you do save a lot of money using pirate ship or shippo. Cause, like I said, if you were to get a post office, like it would probably be like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, depending where you send it. But those are the only websites that we know. If you know of other ones, then that's cool. But those are the ones that we know right now. Right now, I'm gonna download it. Uh, I'm gonna save it. We obviously we save it. We have files. We have like our own little file on our phone for the roommate kicks, and then from there, just kind of obviously like we, we connect to the printer. Like we already have it connected. So from there, I just kind of look for the file through this app. And then print it out, I'll show you right now. So you need really just like any printer at home just that you have connected to your phone. And then you just print it out through there and then this is how it should come out. This is the one that I have. I bought this when I was going to college. But we use this one, it's all dusty. Yeah. All right, so it prints out the label like that. That's basically how it's gonna come out. After the label gets printed out, you just fold it and then you just tape it on the box and then that's pretty much it and then you just go you drop it off wherever you whatever carrier you chose which is UPS or USPS all right guys we're back at the mall I just got here shipped out the shoes we usually try to ship them out in the morning but with trying to post every other day with YouTube it's kind of hard like to balance everything together but I mean hey we gotta do what we gotta do right but we're here at Northridge um, well, I'm here on this. Um, it's currently 6.30. I mean, it's it seems kind of dry, but I'm going to try to give it a shot and stick around here. Just going to like uh, JD, Chams, Kids Foot Locker, Foot Locker, Shoe Palace. Hopefully they have something good. If not, I mean, they're about to close. I think they close around 7 or 8, maybe even 9. But I'm going to stay and hopefully they have something. So that way you guys, you guys can see. Um, that they actually do drop stuff around your guys' malls and you guys can just like experience it with me Yeah, that's how my day goes about um, Usually when I'm cooking but right now like we haven't really been out doing stuff because like I said we're doing this YouTube stuff um, And we're really grinding we're posting every other day I'm trying to post every other day for the rest of the year So hopefully my goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year guys so keep subscribing, keep liking, comment below like video ideas you guys want want us to do. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go check out the stores and hopefully there I find something. All right guys, so I'm back in my car. Sadly, there was no shoes. I stayed there for like about an hour or so. I mean, but that's typically what goes about like a reseller's day. They wake up early, um, usually like around seven in the morning. That's when like everything drops. Either on Nike, all sneakers app, or stuff like that or if not maybe nine like shop drops right now there's not really like such like a hype drop where like people usually like camp out or stuff like that let me know if you want to see like some stuff like that like where we go and like camp out for shoes and i'll i'll make sure to film that because when we go out cooking we don't really be filming because we're trying to get our, the best to like cop shoes but i mean the valley is kind of dead the only thing you have around is basically the panorama mall which they never drop anything northridge or topanga but I mean, it's kind of a distance. You kind of have to like 
guess which ones they're gonna hit on. Go look around JD, um, finish line, shoe palace, foot lockers, and you just kind of like scan the shelves and see that's how you go about your day. Well, basically us, or like if we have to ship, usually we'd be shipping in the morning, but since we have like a lot of stuff going on, um, we kind of get like uh, backed up. But using shipping in the morning. If you guys want to cop some shoes, make sure to follow us at Real, Real Make Kicks. I mean, if, like I said, if you guys want a, another part two where we actually go on cooking and we finding a lot of shoes, where like there's like big drops and stuff like that, make sure you guys comment down below. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up. And we're so close to 300 subscribers, guys. Yeah, all you gotta do is just click the red button and hit subscribe. Um, like I said, I'm trying to do giveaways every 100 subscribers. So every time I hit 100 subscribers, I'll be giving away $20 through Cash App. Also, just keep subscribing. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can get there, so I'll put in the effort and the, and the work. I'll be uh, posting every other day until the end of the year. I mean, it's stressful because it's a lot of videos because run out of ideas but yeah that was about it so i'm gonna enjoy my ice cream cone and i'll see you in the next one